Right small cut. Into the oh, keep left over 30. Yes, well, that was, well, very well done, wasn't it? I'm a virtual reality sim racing petrol head who loves nothing more than steaming around the Silverstone circuit in Ayrton Senna's McLaren MP48, reliving the glory days of F1 and ignoring the current snorefest that is the modern era. Give me a wide open circuit with pristine tarmac every day and I am a happy little sim racing bunny. EA's WRC is getting its long-awaited VR mode at the end of April, so I jumped into its predecessor, Dirt Rally 2, to get warmed up for the challenge. But there's a problem. If I'm such a big sim racing petrol head, then why do I hate rally sims? Well, let's get into it then. Roll credits and remember we're born to respawn. Like everyone else in the UK, I was fascinated by the WRC in the 1990s. We had Tommy Mackinnon in his Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution and future world champion Richard Burns in his Toyota. But to me, the icon of this era was the absolutely bonkers, if in doubt, flat out hero that was Colin McRae in his iconic blue Subaru with the numbers 555 on the side. The biggest jumps, the biggest sideways action. And if he didn't win, it's because he was usually wrapped around a tree somewhere. Not for me, thanks. A sunny day at Alton Park in the UK in my favourite McLaren 720S GT3, a pack of snarling aggressive opponents also in GT3s, and I'm a very happy man. Put me in an old Lancia Stratos on gravel in a rainstorm, and I'm a very unhappy man, frustrated, annoyed, and about to tear out what little hair I have left. The trails are too narrow, the verges are too high, I'm doing upwards of 100 miles per hour with deadly drops on either side, and I cannot get my head around the car handling. I've rolled more times than Colin McRae in Cyprus, and he rolled a lot in Cyprus. Oh, we're going over. Then there are the directions from your co-driver, the unnearingly calm ex-world champion Phil Mills. One right, don't cut to left. 40, turn two left around Bale Tarmac. Keep left over 160. I mean, what the fuck does that mean? Nope. Rallying is not for me. I'm done. Then something strange happened. I was tackling the tarmac stage in Ribadellas, Spain. I stopped trying to read the road in front of me and started listening very careful to my co-driver. Suddenly, the gobbledygook he was spouting started to make sense. Six right long. I can take that at full speed. Three left, tightens. I'll have to slow down and be aware of the corner radius. Tight hairpin right, do not cut. 180 degree right turn and don't cut the apex. Then I started to fly. The stage went by in a blur of trees, armco, rock faces and spectators. And I finished sixth. Now six doesn't sound like much to a veteran rally sim racer. But to me, it was a revelation. I can actually do this. I can actually drive a rally car at a decent speed. Listen to the pace notes and do not end up on my roof every five minutes. Almost. The number of times I've jumped into a rally sim thinking that my circuit racing skills are transferable, then getting frustrated and quitting because, well, there I am plummeting to my untimely death over a precipice in a very angry rally car again. I mean, I'm guessing some skills are transferable, but braking and steering on gravel, snow or even tarmac in a rally car is a completely different experience to the more anodyne, less dynamic surface of a modern race circuit in a monster high downforce racing car. I haven't quite got my head around driving on gravel yet. I need to slow down and get used to the way the car moves around. And for the sake of my sanity, I'll be avoiding snow until I've had more time with the game. So, in the manner of the old joke, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. That will be my rally driver sim racing mantra. And I look forward to being upside down in many exotic places across the world when EA releases the VR mode for WRC at the end of April. As always though, what do you think? Are you a sim rally enthusiast? Are you secretly laughing at my ineptitude whilst channeling your inner Colin McRae? Or are you completely disinterested in driving on dirt roads? You know the drill, get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. Plus, if you enjoyed this content, you could join my channel membership like these lovely people did. You get custom badges, emojis, and an exclusive members-only channel on my Discord. If you want to watch more content from my channel, you can click here 
or here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.